Hello and welcome. I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. I've got a link to my Facebook group um, if you'd like to join us for a goddess event. Uh, please come and join in the fun. This is a color along tutorial that you can use um, for your images uh, when you post it to the Facebook group. If you would like more in-depth tutorials, please come and join my patron. For um, There's lots of different uh, tutorials available. If you join a tier, then you have access to all the previous pages and the previous tutorials for that specific tier. Hi, Mum. Hi, Janine. Hi, Pam. Hi, Isalina. We missed you. Hi, Tanirina. Welcome. Hi, Sonia. Welcome. Hi, Anna. Welcome. Okay, so today we're going to do part two. I'm going to carry on with the face um, and the skin uh, and the eyes and the lips. We'll see how far we go. And then I'm going to do the hair next. And then we'll move on till we complete the whole page. Okay, so let's start. This is how far we got last week. Um, with the tutorial and there was some questions that was raised in my um, patron on how to turn skin if they've gone to pink for example and it is quite simple really I will show you just now Hi Barbara, welcome. Okay, so say for example, your tone of the skin is quite pink. At this stage, this one is not too pink, but I can show you how to bring it back. When you're using Prisma color, it's easy and it's very forgiving. Um, so basically, say, okay, say we're working on this so this is a pink section but it it's not forgiving when you're using luminance for example or when you're using faber castle polychromos because the, in, with those pencils, you basically have to have your colors picked out beforehand. You must know exactly where to put them. With toning skin, um, to make it less pink, a little bit more brown, or a little bit more olive, then it's easy with your prismas. Um, the first you can try is you add bronze. So you need a greener tone to go over the pink and that will bring it back to your flesh tone that you would like it to be. Or you can go, if it's still a little bit pink, with a light hand. I'm using my, uh, I'm holding my pencil further back to take the pressure off the tip. You can add... Um, light umber like this for example or you can even go as bold 
as um, artichoke with a light hand and you'll see it will turn it immediately down And if you want to cool down your shadows, you can add blues. Hi Barbara. Hi Pam. Sorry if I missed anybody. Um, so for example, periwinkle. If you add blues to your shadows, it immediately goes a soft subdued shadow so when you add your blues so now let's carry on I'm going to take a little bit of chocolate. Chocolate PC1082. And if you're really battling to tone your skin to the right color, you can always PM me. And if I don't respond immediately, I'll pro I'm probably asleep. But I will get back to you and you are more than welcome to, to PM me and I will have a look and, and see how to turn it. Next, I'm going to use Slate Grey. I'm just turning my page slightly so that my hand's not in the way. So now I'm just adding a shape shadow to shape the forehead before we get to the hairline. And I've got a slight shadow on the one side of the face. So the light source is coming from the left.
enhance the shadow next to the nose. Next I'm going to use Light Umba BC941 and we're slowly building up the layers. Go slightly over this line here, soften it. You have to keep in mind, you know, skin has a soft texture, so keep it soft. No harsh lines, your shading, soft, soft shadings. Keep all the colors that you add. Even here by the neck that we did in Patreon, soft lines. Keep everything soft, soft shading. Hi Tippy, welcome. The mouth corner. Next is chocolate. Next is page Cena. I just want to shade the nose. Soften those highlights. Burnt ochre. Little bit of warmth.
Choky Sprackle. Hi, Christina. Welcome. Next is Nectar. Eggshell, and soften the color. Then beige sienna. white Then eggshell. We're highlighting the upper lip, go down around the nose, yes, squiggle, squiggle. Then beige Sienna. Hi Cheryl, welcome. Thank you, Tippy. Then nectar again.
then henna I'm going to really darken this section Then mineral orange. Oh, she is still a bit blurry here, Mom. We first just toning. She'll smooth out just now. Then burnt ochre. Then golden rod. Light umbe. Then grade lavender, just a little bit here by the chin, but stopping it there. Then blush pink. Then bronze.
then chestnut. Then nectar, just blending it all in. Extending this highlight towards the brow. chocolate Fifty percent French grey, Then henna. Oh, that's not henna. Here's henna. So, did anybody start this page as yet? Sienna Brown. I've seen some beautiful coloured ones in the group. Laura, welcome. Some beige sienna. Back to light umber. Oh, nothing wrong with that, Barbara.
Oh, yes. I was just saying, Laura, that with Lumis, it's not as forgiving as the Prismas when toning skin tones. You basically have to know where you want to put what beforehand, which is not a problem. But you can always be a me, Laura. I can have a look and help if you want. Dark Umba. No, I really don't mind, Laura. If you want me to have a look, please feel free and just PM me. Enhancing the shadow. Now I'm going to do the nostril. This is black. So I'm darkening it only on the one side. Back to my dark umber. And then extend it forward with the brown with a light hand. If you use light layers, you can layer quite a bit. And I layer till it starts to smooth out. There's still little holes here. So you keep layering till it smooths out. Share off. Light umber.
You see now she's starting to become more clear. Soon as one starts adding in all the shadows. Um, back to Henna. And then back to Dark Umba. really dark in here at the bottom of the chin and go down the neck shadow then henna Where's Hina? Then Sienna Brown. Back to light or dark umber. Mineral orange. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. But you're doing great. I've seen your latest pages. They look amazing. Now bronze again. And shade the upper lip. Soften that shadow. Accentuate the shadow here at the bottom. A little bit more here in the upper lip.
Dog Umbe. Nickte. Sina Braun. Bent Oka. Sherry, welcome. We missed you in patron. Page Cena Well, nothing wrong with that, Barbara. That's also good to watch back. Yes, very true, Tippy. Well, talking about pool, when it's summer here, we've got winter at the moment, then sometimes I just got out of the pool and then I start streaming for, <laughs> for public and for um, patron. Uh, is preso Light umbo. Just soften the edges here by the black that you've added. Remember, keep it everything soft. Do the same here with the line here by the nose. Soften the shadow line.
Oh, yes, Isselina, me too. A light peach. Highlight this eyelid. And slightly here on the bottom eyelid. Slightly on the bottom lid. A little bit in the middle. And this upper lid. Next is Salmon Pink. Warm it up a bit. Beige Sienna. Burnt ochre, soften the colors. Oh, happy birthday for tomorrow, Selina. I hope you have a wonderful day and you get spoiled. Dark Umba. Artichoke, a little bit of green here, Espresso. Next, I'm going to take Beige Sienna and do the white of the eye, Beige Sienna. And this little corner here. Then Henna.
and do the little tear duct. Both sides. Also here in the corner of this eye. Then nectar. Then 70% French grey. Darken just below the upper lid because the lid is casting a shadow onto the eye. So just before you get the tear duct and shade it in. Darken the corner of this eye that's in shadow. Next, 70% cool grey. In the corner. Then chestnut, darken the corner, the inside of the eye. Then a little bit of Tuscan red, right in the corner over the chestnut. Then dark umber, a little line where the white will start dark in the corner, black in the corner, shade it out just below the inside of the eye and a very thin line inside just before you get the white. Next is 30% cool grey and just cover the white part of the eye first. Then we're going to take sandbar brown and shade in the darker grey. And then 
70% cool grey. Then I'm going to take espresso right at the top, darken it. And the same here, on this side, darken it. Just below it, 70% French grey, darken it. Espresso again. Soft blending into that 70% French grey. Then 50% French grey. Blend it in. And then 30% cool grey right next to where the iris would be. And just highlight that section. Then on this side, again the bottom right next to the iris, highlight, shade it in, a little bit on this side. Then I'm going to take sky blue light right at the bottom, just at the on the bottom section of the white of the eye, just a little, and on this side, and again this one just at the bottom. And now we need to do her eyes. So again, dark umba, and I'm going to do the outer rims. I'm giving her brown eyes, seeing that Hera had, according to scriptures, brown eyes, very fair skin, and brown hair. So I'm giving her brown eyes, but you can give her whatever color eyes you would like to give her. So darken the rims, darken the top, just below the eyelid. And try not to lose your shape. Next, I'm going to take 
because I want to give a warmer, a light brown color instead of dark brown. So next is Sienna brown. And Um, first just going to I've drawn my line not correct here and this is 70% French grey I'm just fixing that line there we go back to my dark umba really dark in the stop section now the bottom I'm going to give it a really light feel so I'm first just going to draw a round line with light umber so light umber so it's light umber and then I'm going to highlight it first with golden rod so it's almost like a hazily brown eye. Not just normal brown eyes. And then I'm going to use eggshell. But just at the bottom, in the middle, highlight it. Or not highlight it, lighten it. There we go. Back to my Sienna brown. And now we can add the pupil. Okay, now I'm just going to add in the pupil. So first just the line on the outside, then the pupil, leaving, you must try and make your pupil in the middle, if there is a white dot like in this drawing, um, leaving that section out, so that you still get the shine of the eye. Same on this side, darken the line, darken the top, and then the outside line, flicking motion downward, so it's dark at the top, going thinner towards the bottom, and then the pupil in the middle. Now, just because the bottom is a little bit too light, so it looks like she's crying, I'm going to darken it with a little bit of mineral orange. Just go over that light section and it will tone down the light. Then take your white and enhance your little white dot in the eye then the inside little pink line in the eye just below the iris I'm adding in a little bit of white 
and the same here. A little bit of white. Then at the bottom, a little bit of white. So even though it's small, you can still do a fair amount of details. Back to dark umber. And now we can do an eyeliner. So she's got prominent eyeliner. So I'm going to draw it in with black. I'm just going to turn the page. Uh, from the tear duct going upwards. And it's medium to hard pressure. Widening it towards the outside of the eye. And going slightly over so you know exactly where to draw in your eyelashes later. Do the same on this side. Eyeliner. Then I'm going to take henna. Where's the henna? The henna. And just soften the darkness around the eye a little bit. Also here at the bottom. Shade in your corner I'm going to take sandbar brown no accentuate that shadow underneath her eyeliner on the eye seventy percent French grey oh sorry Janine a little bit of espresso Espresso. I think we can do a page giveaway quickly. You can all choose a number between 1 and 100 and you can win a page from my Etsy store. And I must tell you that there is already 
two new pages drawn. There might be a third for the smug fest. So there is some new pages. I'm just taking my black. Well, you can all choose a number. You can all go now. And just shape. I've got it thin here where it must be thick. There we go. And a little bit more here. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Sorry, I I think I missed you. And I'm just going to highlight this section here. I've got a line there. Dark brown. Oh, sorry, not dark brown. Dark umber. Oh, but welcome, Sarah. Nice to see you here. Accentuate the white. It's all the numbers in. Okay, let's start. Stop. One. Who's the closest? Janine, congratulations, Janine. You can peer me. You should have kept to Barbara. <laughs> Thank you. 
And next is burnt ochre. And now we can just retone the eyes. Now that we have eyes in the sockets. Light peach. Then beige Zena. No problem, Janine. Soften the edges of the colour of our eyes. I think we can draw in our eyebrows. Um I'm going to first do it with brown. So first I'm going to take dark umber. I'm just going to take some nectar. And beige sienna. Oops. Beige sienna. Cover half the bra here. And eggshell. So when you draw the lines, you don't have white space. Oopsie, then I'm going to take black. And black on this side. Now I'm just going to lighten it slightly with badge Cena. Just reshape it. I think I've gone a little bit wild with her brows. So 
soften the top. We tweezing uh, our brows. And a little bit of warmth, I think, is needed. So let's take Cena Brown. little bit of black oh thank you for being here Selena I really appreciate it same here oops Selena tweezed so now I'm showing you how to fix this is just eggshell flick inward onto the brow and then you can reshape it again Then the Sienna Brown again. Baba Irina, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Then pile sage and just blend it in. Batch Sienna over the pile sage and there we go. Little bit of light umber shape it here slightly batch center and eggshell Same with this side, reshaping it, that umber, beige sienna, and eggshell. Then dark umber. Batch Sena. This is how you reshape if you made a mistake. Nectar on this side because you've got pinker tones. Bright Sienna. And then black. Just redraw. There we go.
And that's it. I think we can leave it there for tonight. And then we can carry on with the lips and the hair and everything else next week. So, thank you mom for being my mod. Thank you to each and everyone that came out to watch the stream tonight. I really appreciate it. I hope to, uh, to see some goddesses soon. Um, in the description is a link to my Facebook group. We are hosting a goddess event. You can do the color along post there. I would love to see your work. And if you want more in-depth tutorials, please join my Patreon. We have a stream every Wednesday, depending on the tier that you join, and you have access to all previous tutorials and pages. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Stay safe and see you all next week. Yes, please do, Laura. You can PM me. <laughs>